this problem an aeroplane is moving upward let's say you have an aeroplane and it is moving upward and the speed is 15 meter per second so the speed is 15 meter per second this is your initial speed and then you drop something from the aeroplane let's say it, the aeroplane is moving or an object is moving at 15 meter per second so you have an aeroplane let me explain this one situation first you have an aeroplane which is moving upward and then you drop an object from here you drop an object from this point this is the aeroplane and you drop an object from this point the aeroplane is moving upward in 15 meter per second what happens once you drop this ball this ball also has or this package this also has the speed equal to 15 meter per second and it will continue to move up but, but because the gravity is pulling the speed will slow down and it reaches to the maximum and then falls again to the ground so even once you draw this package from the aeroplane this object will continue to move up because it also has the same speed or the same velocity at 15 meter per second and but because the gravity is pulling it downward the speed will slow down and then once the speed becomes zero then again it starts falling down so the way I will draw this this problem is now is the ball is moving with the 15 meter per second it will reach to the height maximum height and then will fall back to the ground and this is the ground okay and then you need to find out what is this height here have to find out what is the height here and the total time so the total time this total time is 16 second this is the total time 16 second the time the time from this point to reach to the ground so the aeroplane is moving once you drop the ball or the package it takes 16 second that means it first keep moving and then again comes comes back to the ground so you just have to use the equations of motion so the one equation of motion you can use in this equation is V squared you see you given the time so you just have to use ut minus half g t squared why I use the negative sign because when I just uh, when I started from this point, the gravity is pulling down, so I just choose the g to be the negative. When it's coming down, then you can take it as a positive. But just by using this equation, it accounts for everything here. So just plug in all the information here and see what you get. What is your initial speed? This initial speed is 50 meter per second. 15 meter per second and the total time see here the negative I'm using the total time here when you use the total time it takes everything into account the total time is 16 second negative half G is 9.8 times 16 square 9.8 times 16 square okay so just plug in all the information here so 15 times 16 15 times 16 is 240 this is 240 negative 16 square times 9.8 divided by 2 this is 12 
negative 240. This is 1014.4 meter with a negative sign in it. Okay. So what does the negative sign tell you? The negative sign tells you this, this direction is positive and this direction is negative. So the total height from this from this point is 1014.4 meter. Why this distance? Because, see, I started from this point. This is my time t equals to zero. And this is my time t equals to 16 seconds. So what is the total displacement between this point and this point? That's what this gives you. Okay? I started from this point. And my ending point is this. And just between this starting point and the ending point, the total time is 16 seconds. And I plug everything with a proper direction, a proper sign. I use the negative sign here. Why? Because at this point, the object is moving upward, which is against the gravity. Okay? So when you do that, the answer you got is 1014.4 meter. So the closest answer here is 1000 meter. Okay? So this is your answer. You can also solve the same problem by dividing up into two, two parts. For example, this one is moving at 15 meters per second. Okay, so you can first find out how long does it take to reach to this height. Okay, so you, okay, let's do it together. I'm just going to solve by the, another approach. Here the velocity is 15 meter per second. And I'm just going to find it out what how long does it take to reach to the top. So I'm just going to use this equation. V is equal to u minus z t. The negative sign simply means it is moving upward. At the top, the velocity is zero. And the initial speed is 15 times 9.8 times t. So I just got this time t here. So which is 15 divided by 9.8. If you use your calculator, I'm just using my calculator, it's 15 divided by 9.8 is 1.53 seconds. So it takes 1.53 seconds to reach to the, the top. Now I'm finding this height here. So I can use this equation, u squared plus minus 2gh. Here I'm just talking about this segment only here. And do not be confused about this parabolic, uh, this equation. It is a straight line. Just to make it a little clear, I'm just separating these two lines. So when you throw an object, this one would all be in a straight line motion. Okay? So just for the demonstration. So in fact, how, 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 how does this look like? It goes up and then comes back again. So that all the motion would be in a straight line. But just to make you understand, I'm drawing in this way. Okay, now let's plug in here for this portion here. At this point, again, the velocity is zero. So I can find out this height, this height here. Let's say this is h1. So this velocity is zero. I started with 15 meter per second. So 15 squared minus 2, 9.8 times h1. When you solve, let me solve this one. 15 squared. 225 divided by 2 divided by 9.8. This comes out to be h1 is 11.48 meter. This h1. I found out this h1 now. Now I'm going to find out the height, this height here. So you see the total time from this point to this point, it took about took the 16 seconds. And I already found out the time it takes to reach to the top. So how long does it take from the top to come to the ground? 
So this time would be 16 second minus 1.53 second. So what this time is, 16 minus 1.53 is 14.47. So this time is 14.47 second. So again, let me find it out the, the height now. You see V squared or S is equal to UT plus half G T squared. Why positive here? Because this is now falling down. So let's say this height is H2. This height is H2. This height is H2. Okay? So the H2, at this point, the velocity is zero. So this velocity would be zero. And that times T plus half. And the G is 9.8. So just plug in here, 9.8. And what's the time? Time is 14.47 second. 14.47 square. Let's plug in here, 14.47 squared divided by 2 times 9.8, 1025, 1025.9 meter. So now if I need to find out this height, h, then h will simply be H2 minus H1, which is 1025, 1025.9, negative 11.48, 11.48, again you just use your calculator, minus 11.48, this gives me 1000. 14.48 meters. So the same answer, exactly the same answer which you got. But here I just used uh, solved by parts. First I found it out the height, this height, and then I found this height, and then subtracted. In the previous, uh, in the, the in in the previous way, what you did, you just use the equation of motion to solve from this point to this point. So that was much, much easier. Okay?